Hi, I'm me again. Um, as I've reviewed um, a few books on here, and also um, recently Malcolm Robinson's UFO book, I thought I'd um, tell you a few bits about some of the CDs that are available um, on the market, most of which um, I actually produce myself. Now, first of all, let's start with one by Alistair Crowley. Now, I don't actually produce this. Uh, it's an American import. Um, it's 20 minutes long with various different things from Gnostic maths and everything. Um, but on um, eBay, uh, I paid £12 for it, which I think is totally over the top. And there's not really much content or anything worth um, learning about on there at all. Having said that, when you mention uh, Wicca in the UK, you either think of Alexandrian or Gardnerian witchcraft. I know it's different in the States because Wicca just openly means witchcraft, craft of the wise. Now, two of these CDs that I do here, the Alexander's interviews, um, this I recorded in 1988, just before his death. Um, it has his comments about the Book of Shadows, his origination where it all came from. Uh, his claims to have met Alistair Crowley and eaten what is called a cake of light, uh, which to put it not crudely, is excreta on a biscuit. It's a little bit sordid, but many people worldwide do respect Alex. Uh, even now, although he's passed away, his legend continues. I would say that this uh, is well worth getting if you're actually into um, the Alexandrian path of Wicca because it will actually give you an insight into the man and it also includes the actual funeral ceremony um, that took place after his death when he died on the 30th of April 1988. The other one is the Doreen Valiente interviews which I conducted in 1990. Um, Doreen was a very, very close friend of Gerald Gardner so she was Gardnerian uh, witch and on this she talks about the Book of Shadows, um, how she feels that Alex copied the Gardnerian path and everything. In fact, the spelling mistakes in there are almost identical, uh, but make your own mind up. Um, it also has on there about self-initiation and the validity of it. So again, even though I produce it, you know, I'm kind of blowing my own trumpet here. Um, I would say this again, if you're into the history of witchcraft, uh, both with Doreen or with Alex, both are very worthwhile getting hold of. A few of my own CDs um, that I produce. Earth Magic, which is like a spell conducted to music to attract a loved one or to bring energies to you. Initiation for the Lone Witch. Um, which, in a way, is a guide how to open yourself to the forces of nature. Now, bear in mind that I think a witch is born, not made, by initiation. And this is a simple way of saying to the elements and the, the god, the goddess, or whatever you believe in, I am here, please accept me into the, um, the craft of the wise. Sacred rites, again, uh, is... Um, Rituals performed by me for you to actually enhance different things in your life. Now, one thing I'll say here, and this is my own personal belief, is that never do spells for yourself because either you'll have, won't have the commitment in your mind, you'll be sidetracked or you'll think, no, it's not going to work, not going to work. So the way around that is to do spells for other people and then you get something nice back in return. And it does work, but bear in mind the whole path that I follow is for need, not for greed. Now we come to a naughty one, Carleonian love magic. This is aimed at the female, and it is me doing a ritual to enhance your visualisation of a, a male or a partner to attract to you. It does get very, very naughty in places, so be warned there. It could have an over-18 certificate, if you like. Um, but again, it's tested and does work. 
Now we come back to Alex. Here <laughs> is a giant pile, again, of CDs that I produce. And this was at the um, wish of Alex Sanders, um, just before he died. And they've all been trans transcribed onto tape now. Oh, sorry, onto CD. Um, and I'll go through the little list here and tell you different things about them. Okay, Exposition of the Wicker. That is basically the foundations of Alexandrian witchcraft. Moon Magic, again by Alex, which um, instructs you how to uh, invoke the elements of the moon, draw down the moon if you want to call it that, and actually enhance spell work, the visualisation, the healing and all that sort of thing. Now some of these here are double CDs. Moon magic is, so is Exposition of the Wicker. Mother Matrix is a classic, and the devotees of um, Alex, this is a must. It's a brilliant insight into the Alexandrian movement. And again, it is Alex, set to music, and can be very helpful even if you're just starting out on the path um, of Wicca or the Craft of the Wise, whatever you prefer to call it. Then we have Exposition of the Wicca, uh, which again openly tells you how to practice, how Alex practiced his rites and everything. And all these CDs from Alex are basically aimed at helping you to go forward in the craft. Whether you decide you're going to be Gardnerian, Alexandrian, um, Pussycatarian, whatever you want to call yourself. Um, basically the power is in you and these will just guide you and help you along. Ritual the Kabbalistic Cross. Now that is a very interesting one. Um, again... Alex set to music and again invocations of nature and the elements and to openly guide you into how to work magic for others and then for yourself to help others. A Witch is Born. Now I don't produce this one. Uh, this is produced, you can get it on eBay, um, but it's actually the um, Initiation of Janet Farrer, it's recited by Stuart Farrer, and Alex and Maxine conduct the actual ceremony. Um, this ranges from about £8 on eBay, um, which in itself is not a bad price, but I do believe that whoever's producing these haven't got the copyright. I think they're being bootlegged, but that's entirely up to you what you do about that. Casting the Circle, now that speaks for itself. Basically, it's literally how to cast your protective circle around you so that no nasty forces can come in and you can raise the energy within the circle and release it when you're ready to. Again, very good instructional CD. The H1 Laws of Alexandrian Witchcraft, again, all about Alex's system and the way he decided to work outside of the Book of Shadows. Um, very informative, very good, and again, because I produce it, then um, I'd recommend it. The Rites and Ceremonies of Wicca. Again, different invocations, different rituals, and different ways of practicing how to cast your own circle, how to draw down the moon, how to call upon the god and the goddess. Again, very instructional, very worthwhile. Invocation of the elements, that speaks for itself, how to invoke earth, air, fire and water. And again, drawn together from every quarter and to the centre, you add your own spirit. This is Alex's way of doing things, so again, very instructional, or a must for devotees of Alexandrian Wicca. Finally, the Southern Cross, again by Alex Sanders. Uh, this one, again, invocations, spells, elementals, Drawing down different powers from different sources. And again, I would say, recommended. Now, all the ones that I've said that I produce, I do actually sell um, openly on eBay. 
uh, or I can sell directly to you, they're five pound each, including postage if you're in the UK, or the six pound each um, if you're abroad anywhere, USA or whatever. Bear in mind these are English format, but they will play on computers, and obviously you can try to transcribe them onto your own um, way of working, and they make brilliant additions to the Book of Shadows. If I can be of any help in this way, email me, Kevin Carlion at AOL.com. That's Kevin Carlion at AOL.com. And if any of 